The next process is aluminothermic process. Aluminothermic process involves your fire clay crucible like this. So chromic oxide is mixed with the powdered aluminium in the ratio of 3 is to 1 and it is placed in a very large fire clay crucible. So the mixing is that you got your barium oxide and magnesium powder here with magnesium ribbon, the fire clay crucible and sand. You got sand here. And chromic oxide and aluminium here, fine. Your mixture of barium peroxide and magnesium powder is placed so on top of this one, as I told. The crucible is surrounded by sand, which prevents the loss of heat by radiation. The molten chromium is collected in the crucible and the aluminium oxide is removed as lag. Here is the equation. Chromium oxide plus aluminium will give chromium and aluminium oxide with a huge temperature or energy out. That's a 468.6 kilojoules. So if you talk about the properties So, the material is silvery white and crystalline in the physical property area. It is really hard and brittle. It melts at 2113 Kelvin. If we discuss on the chemical properties, I am going to talk about the action of air, action of water and action of acids. Now, the material, as I told, it is silvery white and crystalline, hard and brittle and it melts at 2113 